Hello, welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. Today we're going to be talking about Movie Studio 16 Platinum and how to add effects, specifically how to add video effects and audio effects. It's actually pretty simple, so we're going to go ahead and, and get started. Uh, now, first thing you'll notice is I have this big fancy project up in front of me. This is the default entry project when you click uh, Sample Project. This is this is what comes up. This is Magic uh, Vegas Creative Software's little little tutorial project and where they show you all the different things it can do and uh, it's pretty neat to here to see the uh, how they built this thing uh, pretty standard standard uh, way to edit it and uh, we're going to utilize these clips to show you some things about adding effects to individual clips versus tracks how to add those effects uh, some basic things about manipulating effects and how to add audio effects and what that means for audio as well uh, so Black and white's a good one. Now this is what we're going to be talking about is true for all of these effects. See all these effects here? All of these effects, this will be the case. This is how all these effects work for the most part. With the ex exception of stabilization. I will have to have, for 360 stabilization and normal stabilization, uh, I will have to have, see video stabiliz stabilization there, I'll have to have a separate tutorial for. But with the, other than those, you can do things like add black and white. Black and white is a very simple effect. So right here we got a guy messing with a propane, a uh, little propane stove and we're gonna drop this black and white effect right here on it and it's just a drag and drop. That simple. Drag and drop. Boom. Now it's black and white and we can change the blend amount. So every single effect has items you can change to customize the effect. Uh, and when you do that, uh, these items that you change some of them are an you can animate them too so uh, let, let me show you a different one something like this is a crazier one they're not all crazy like this if you don't know all the effects I have a video where I go through and pretty much look at every single one of them uh, this one's a fisheye effect it's, I just I'm trying to get ones that you can see uh, so now we have multiple effects on here the color balance came with Vegas let's see what they did for color balance they didn't really do much uh, for color balance that's interesting um, but they got the color balance effects, the black and white effect. You can check or uncheck whether or not that effect is actually applied. So we can check or uncheck the black and white. We can check or uncheck the dual fisheye stitching. And whichever one on this little, see I'm using the arrows to go back and forth, whichever one I'm selected is the one I'm going to be editing. So this video event FX window applies to every single effect on, on this clip and you can add the effects by dragging it as we already covered. So I want you to see this is how you change what makes the effect you know what change what actually makes the effect the effect right so this would be adding the amount of black and white versus leaving some color in it. Um, this is color balance so whether it's more reds less reds more greens less greens more blues less greens and whether you're not you're messing with midtones highlights or shadows also, this is not the only color balance. There are color wheels. There are other ways to color balance as well in uh, Vegas. This is just a way that uh, some people are more familiar with. So they usually have different plugins depending on the different interfaces you want to use. And that's pretty standard for editing software. And uh, dual fist eye stitching has lots of crazy ones too. So like this is this is like a dual fish eye camera now. You can do some really nutty effects. So see all these things change it. One thing I want to point out is if it has any kind of clock by it, see here this little clock plus clock, that is animation. So in another tutorial I'm going to be covering keyframes more in depth. I actually have a keyframes tutorial, uh, it may be on our older channel Tech Dive, our main channel, um, but all the tutorials now are coming out on Tech Dive AV Club, but you can catch it all. Uh, all the tutorials exist online and are t linked on uh, Tech Dive AV Club page. So you can watch that tutorial now or you can wait till I refresh the tutorial coming up soon on how to do keyframes but in general what you need to know is here's your keyframe toolkit down here you can animate your effect by making it change over time this is your timeline this timeline equals the whole length of the clip if you make a change let's say at the very end of the clip you can add a keyframe here and you would just click this add keyframe button and then you can, uh, whatever change you make to saturation, see I'm making a change there, it will change, this line signifies the change, it'll make the change in the effect over time. So I'm going to let the saturation, I'm going to let bleed out of black and white, right? 
So now we're going to watch this clip. Okay, now we had a lot of effects going at once. Um, so I'm going to arrow through it. A lot of the effects, when I'm adding that many effects in real time, it slows it down. You can see there what the keyframe did. I have all these effects on it now, and I even animated one of the effects. So that's really cool. What if you want the effects off of it? Well, uh, first off, you can arrow out to see the buttons, or if you can't see the button, this, this effects button here. So that's the effects button. If you arrow out, you can see more buttons. If you can't see it, then just click this little hamburger and click event effect. But either way, whichever way you do it is valid. Pull this back up, you're right back where you left off. So don't be afraid to exit out of that window. I'm going to remove that effect. I'm going to remove the dual fist eye stitching. Now we're back to normal. So then you're saying, what if I don't want to have to sit there and add and edit the effect for every single clip? What if I want to do, do, do it to the whole track? Well, just simply grab, let's go black and white because that's very easy to see. Grab it and I'm going to drag it to this video effect right here. And you might be thinking, wait, there's some stuff still in color. Well, look, there's two video tracks, right? Some of their cuts are on this video, this track three, and some of them are on track two. So anything on track three is going to be untouched, but anything on track two is actually going to be black and white. And so see, that movie studios isn't black and white because that is on track four, or the title straight is what they call it, uh, where they put all their titles. Uh, so now you see that's in color, that's in black and white, that's in color. black and white. Oh, look, that makes this fun. Let's watch this now. So I have it on best fool. We'll talk about that more, uh, but that'll let it live render a little easier. This is my laptop, not my best editing machine, but it's awesome to kick out a tutorial with. Ha, oh, that's awesome. So uh, it's combining some of the other effects with the effect I added to kind of make extra cool effects. So see, when you start combining this stuff, that's when you get the really, really neat things going on. Um, so that is video effects in a nutshell. And if you want to get back to, see right there, uh, let me exit out so I can show you. You just hit this. You can either go through the hamburger or you can go right here. Just go back to it. You want to get rid of it. FX. I mean, uh, hit the X on the FX, and you have killed the effect on the track. And that is effects for video. Now, effects for audio is similar. Um, there's not a drag and drop for the audio. I think that might be neat to have eventually, uh, but you really don't need a drag and drop for the audio. All the audio stuff is handled down here. So now, obviously, you have your volume and. You also have your fade and your gain. Your gain, your fade really is just gain. Um, but these are these are not considered effects. These are just actual leveling that your audio is between your volume and your gain. And uh, in an all about audio video, we're going to talk about the difference between uh, uh, volume and gain. Out of the scope for this tutorial, though. So I want to add an effect to it. Let's just say I want to add an effect, any effect. I'm going to right click it, and then I'm going to see two options. Audio Effect FX and Apply Non Real Time Event FX. So FX is just shorthand for effects if you haven't figured that out already. Uh, audio Event FX will do a live, a live effect, which means it won't, it'll render itself as it's showing it to you every time. Apply Non Real Time means it's not being rendered in real time. It's going to actually uh, replace your audio with. An effect so you can still like control Z and get rid of it or whatever but um, it will actually render out real quick a new audio track and replace that so then your audio essentially it's giving you a new effect and so if you're adding a lot of audio effects it might be good to um, do staged rollouts of the audio with non real-time event effects uh, but for our purposes I'm just going to show you audio event effect and look here oh man we got so many effects um, you know, you got reverb effects and track EQ effects and panning effects and reverb effects. Uh, let's add some reverb. That'll be an easy one to see. So I'm just going to hit add here. And honestly, you can add video effects this way as well if you go through the hamburger menu on each track. Uh, but usually the easiest way to do is drag and drop. So uh, here, 
I just added I just added that effect actually, and so uh, I'm gonna hit this FX button. Uh, oh, I didn't add it. Huh. I didn't hit OK. So that's the lesson for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Reverb, and we're gonna hit Add, and then we're gonna hit OK, and that makes a big difference. So then it's gonna open this up, and then now I want I want you to hear it for a second. So it's already echoey, but what we're gonna do is uh, so let's take the effect off, right? Because it already put the echo on it as soon as we did that. That's cool, but uh, see these right here? Video and audio effects oftentimes will have presets. Uh, presets are just right here. You just hit this drop down menu, and you can get some already configured things that the, the, the developers thought that you might want. So let's say I want to make it sound like it's in a sewer. Let's try that. It definitely has much more of a, like a concrete and metal tank feel. Uh, or let's say I want to make it sound like it's in a cathedral. See how much longer the symbol rang out? And so that's some subtle differences of reverb and on music track it's going to have all sorts of uh, different effects. But the point is, is I, that's how you add audio effects. And you can either, like I said, you can render them out or you can get rid of them or you can, um, you can do all sorts of things with them. But that's effects. Now you can do anything you want. The world is your oyster. You add a good effect with a good transition and you can get some really, really neat things. Uh, and so uh, be sure to check out my other tutorials if you liked what you found and also uh, I got plenty more coming out like I said I'm working on getting more and more out uh, all the time and as both for pro and movie studios but a lot of them are interchangeable you're gonna be find out that pro tutorials often work for movie studios and movie studios often works for pro um, if you if you like this video please like it if it helped you out and uh, subscribe if you're looking for more if you would like to buy this software, if you did it through our affiliates link, that would really help out this channel. And uh, comment below if you have a tutorial idea. This tutorial was inspired by a comment that asked about video effects. And I realized I hadn't done a tutorial about adding video effects yet. So here is this tutorial. This tutorial came from a comment. If you need a tutorial, give me a comment. I can't promise I can get it out, but I'm going to get it out as soon as I can. Uh, and, and the best way I can. And if I can help you immediately, I'll try and answer that question as well. Follow us on Twitter if you're looking for, for more updates on what uh, Steven and I are doing for our channel network as a whole. And I'll see you next time.